Developing tonight and caught on camera, Fox 29 was there as Philadelphia police arrested an 18-year-old at his parents' Montgomery County home. They say he's tied to illegal car meetups across the city and was caught on viral social media videos throwing a cone at a police vehicle while wearing a banana suit. Our Kelly Rule was there for the arrest. During 18-year-old Shane Thomas's arrest, police say they did also execute a search warrant and recovered that banana suit. Police say this is more than a slip-up. He's facing several felony charges. Yo, go yourself. He was extremely uh, not happy with us. 18-year-old Shane Thomas had bunches to say after an early morning wake-up call at his parents' Plymouth Township home. Obviously, he was very surprised that we uh, arrived at his house this morning, not banging on his door with the Plymouth Township Police Department. Philadelphia police say they took him into custody with the help of Plymouth Township Police and then transferred him into their wagon for his role in illegal car meetups September 21st into the 22nd that caused chaos for hours in several locations across the city, thousands of dollars worth of city street and police vehicle damage and injuries. Police say their social media unit peeling through viral videos determined Thomas was the individual in the area of 2300 Pennsylvania Avenue in a banana suit shown throwing a cone at a police wagon. They were able to identify that he had been tagged in several other social media posts in the past, including one of a high school graduation up here in Plymouth Township. Uh, through that investigation, we were able to identify him. At Thomas's home today, police say they also recovered the banana suit. Just about two weeks ago, they announced two arrests in the meetups and warned more would come. So far, they say they have recovered 20 vehicles. It, it's concerning. It's, uh, it's rattling, actually, a little bit. In Thomas's quiet neighborhood today, neighbor Jeff DeLeon unsettled by the police presence, but he says he commends the reason why. It's certainly appropriate that police um, respond um, to, you know, limit this and uh, get a little bit more control of, of what's going on. You know, people work hard. Uh, people um, deserve some type of peace and quality of life, and, and it has to be has to be stopped, in my opinion. The city's not tolerating it. The DA's office not tolerating it. The police department sure isn't going to tolerate it. So we're out there, and uh, we might be knocking on your door tomorrow. Police say Thomas's charges include aggravated assault on a police officer and criminal conspiracy. So far, he doesn't have an attorney listed. Reporting in Plymouth Township, I'm Kelly Rule, Fox 29 News.